all of those coaches and players having some issues with the referees, particularly from the Thunder and the Raptors game today. Okay, I, I, Sam, I right see in. your face already. <laughs> jump right well, in. Where Look. are you on this? I understand the coaches' frustration mm-hmm. in the players, but what's going to change by doing all this complaining? Look, we have the best officials in the world, and we, and we talked about this a month ago. There's been a huge turnover. We got a lot of young officials coming down through the pipeline, learning how to officiate NBA games, which is the toughest sport to officiate. Are they going to miss some calls? Absolutely. Do I believe our officials cheat? No. No. 100%. They're professionals. And if you look at the league, they have spotters in the stands. They critique them on film. They give their grade them. You Now you have the two-minute report. The officials are under a microscope. They're going to miss some calls, but this is what's starting to bother me. We're taken away from a great NBA season complaining about the officials. Okay, this is let's just do this. Bring in all G League officials and, sit and get rid of the NBA officials or bring in high school officials or bring in European officials. All this complaining, what do you think, what are you accomplishing about this? Because there's nothing the league can do but continue to train these guys. And in time, like the players, I quote, when players came into the league, they want a complete product. They made mistakes. DeMar DeRozan wasn't as good as he, was, he, as he is now. So you have to grow, and you, they, the guys got to give the officials some slack. I get it. It's frustrating. There's a lot on the line. Coaches get fired. But at the end of the day, let me read something. 55%, 56% from the two, 48 from the three, and you got out rebounded. And the other team had 27 assists. So to me, the reason you lost the game, because you gave up 55% field goal percentage, period. And you gave up 132 points. So you're saying the Thunder <laughs> actually won the game. The refs didn't win the game for Oklahoma City. Really? Let's go to the play that DeMar DeRozan points. is talking about. Rex. What do you see here from DeMar DeRozan going to the basket at this point in the game, uh, less than 30 seconds to go? I see a foul. Uh, And and what I see, too, is also Mark Davis, a veteran official. Good official. Good official. Um, I think that's one that you give him after after you've blown the call initially in real time and you give it to him late there. Now, I don't see what, what the upside is for these guys doing this. Coaches or players going at the officials like this. You remember a few years ago we had replacement referees? Yes. Back, I don't know, it's been a decade or more. Yeah. And how'd that go over? Not very well. No, it was a disaster. (laughs) We almost had a mutiny. I mean, we do have the best officials in the world. I say it all the time. I'm hard on college officials. I know what NBA officials are. And, yes, they're not perfect. But we do have, the. I feel, the best professional referees of any any professional organization – and they're out in front more. Now, we want them to be a little more transparent. You know but listen, hey, this but, is a tough but job. we as coaches, the players are going to do what we do. So if we're always complaining about the official, look, Bill Musma came in. We were complaining about the official. God bless the dead. Shut up. Stop talking about the official. Lead the official alone. You just go out and play. And the thing about it, when you're doing all this, creating all this negativity on our game about the officiating, when we should be talking about, look how tight the races are in the East and West. You lose two games, you can go from four to eight or four to out in the playoffs. Look at the excitement with James Harden. Look how Anthony Davis playing. Look at LeBron trying to grab this young group of young players and pull them to the playoffs. Look at the Raptors for the first time got a chance to go into the to win the East. All these great stories to be talking about. And every about. one of those guys you mentioned. And we're talking about the officials. Have complained about the refs. LeBron says, yeah. hey, uh, you know, fans dig the long ball, right? He was saying as if Steph Curry and, and outside shooters get more calls. You heard Alvin Gentry just going to bat for Anthony Davis, right? That's another guy you Look, just mentioned. And DeMar DeRozan. I'm going to say this. So all of the guys you mentioned it's are complaining about the It's time for the refs. commissioner to put his foot down get on a plane, go visit all these teams and say, look, enough about complaining about the officials because what you're doing, you're creating a bad image for the league. Fans already think NBA games are, 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 are not on the up and up because of officiating. So think about this. What the players don't understand, Rex, you know this, if I'm on an official and I start all of a sudden getting to the free throw line, now guess what's going to happen? The other players on the other team going to say, hey, if you're on the officials, right. then you're going to get something for doing that. So now they're going to do it. So what the officials have to do to make sure that it doesn't look like 
they're tilting one way or the other because you're complaining so much. They got to call the game even tighter because if I start giving you calls because you're complaining, then everybody's going to start complaining. And so that's what happens with coaches. I'm sitting here coaching against you. You start complaining. All of a sudden, you get the whistle. Now, all of a sudden, I'm sitting there saying, well, it must work. So I'm going to start complaining. And the only way at that point the official can gain back control of the game is to start giving out technical fouls. So, Rex, Dwayne Casey, DeMar DeRozan, Serge Ibaka all ejected from the game. And you saw the body language of the Raptors, mm -hmm. even Kyle Lowry smiling. As a player, when you see your coach go to bat for you, yeah. look, they lost the game, complained to the refs. But does that bring unity to a team like Toronto when they all – come together like that in complaining, or is that just a bad road to go down? No, I, I don't think. This is not normally what Toronto does. No. They don't behave this way. Um, but I think we are seeing this is the first time this spotlight has been on them, this bright, this hot, this optimistic, right? And they played an awfully good team today, a talented team that was more aggressive, got to the free throw line more than they did. 132 points, Max. Yeah. I mean, come I mean, on. we also look, uh, Paul George, 12 free throws. Uh, Steven Adams, 9. Russell Westbrook, 8. The most for <laughs> DeMar had seven, and nobody else had more than three for but Toronto. Who you think about this for the Raptors, though. Other than DeMar, who goes to the bat? Paul George lives in the paint. We know what Russ does. Russ is always going to the glass. And Steven Adams is always sending screens and rolling to the basket. Okay? Now look, the free throw shooting and, and, and who gets the most every night, that can be different. But the complaining has to stop. It's too much positive things going on in the NBA today with all the great races getting ready to go into the playoffs. We don't need to have the spotlight on the officials. The officials are doing the best they can. Do they miss some calls? Absolutely. And I like what Dwayne Casey said. Look, yeah, you want the officials to be as fair as possible. You want them to get as many correct calls as possible. But they are going to miss some calls. And when they do, take the lead. If I'm Dwayne Casey, because I don't want my players going into the playoffs thinking about the officials. I'm going to go in and highlight, look, y'all can complain all you want to about the officials. We gave up 56% from the two, 47 from the three, <laughs> and 132 points. And if we think we're going to compete for a championship and play that kind of defense, that's what's got us beat. The officials did not beat us because not one official gave up 100. And, and you know I'm a Raptors guy. Y'all accuse me of being a Raptor guy all the time. But you gave up 132 points. Hey, it's a Sunday, and Sam is already preaching at the very start of the show. 